Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a really simple play button to your game. Um, before we start, make sure to join our Discord, link in bio. So first, I'm going to make my game uh, really quick. This is really simple, so you don't have to do this. Um, you can do this if you want, but this is meant to be applied to your own game. So I'm going to just going to quickly make a, a short script for this cat. So here I made my really simple uh, arrow keys control script. Now all of your scripts should be starting with a uh, on flag click or when something else is clicked with your mouse or something along those lines. So this is just my game, your game could be completely separate, but I'm just going to be showing you how to make the play button and how exactly that works. So next we're going to make our own sprite. So I want to make a play button. So I'm just going to drag out this rectangle and then play, which is just also black. So essentially this is a sprite that you're going to be clicking in order to um, start your game. You can make this however big or however small that you want. Let me change the size to 50. So this is my play button. Now we want our play button to click. You want to click on your play button and then you want it to hide because you don't want to see it anymore. And then uh, essentially your game has to start after you click it. So first off, I'm going to do um, events, and I'm going to go and I'm going to make it show at the beginning of each program. So this ensures that when the program starts um, and the green flag is cl clicked, then um, thus the play button will show up. So I'm going to go into one green flag click, go into looks, and then press show. Now we're going to be using something called broadcast, broadcast message. So it's in events and we wanted to broadcast message when um, when the sprites clicked. So when the sprites clicked, broadcast message one. So we want to make sure our code is organized. So we're going to make um, our, the broadcast the message called start. Or in this case, it would make more sense for it to be play. So when the sprites click, broadcast play. So what this is essentially going to do is going to send a message when you click on this play button. Now after you click the play button, you want it to hide. You don't want to see that anymore when you're playing your game. So you're going to go back into looks and do hide. Let's drag out hide. So now when I press my green flag, green flag is clicked, it's showing. Click play, it, show, uh, it hides. So now we essentially have to do the same thing for your cat or your game scripts. You want it, all of your, your sprites to show up or basically start when um, uh, the message is received. So right now I have one green flag clicked. So this is running simultaneously with my play button. I want it so it runs only after my play button is clicked. So I'm going to remove my green flag clicked. And then um, I'm going to go and get a receive message, a receive block from uh, events. So when my sprite receives this uh, message I wanted to start in scripts so when I receive play forever and your scripts will run 
So essentially, when I press play, so right now, I haven't pressed play yet, I can't control my cat with my arrow keys, but once I press play, I'll be able to control my cat with some arrow keys. So now we want the cat to show or your, your sprites that belong to your game and not your title screen to show only when the play button is pressed. So I'm gonna go whenever you see play, I'm gonna make it show. I'm gonna drag out show. So what this essentially does is when the play button is pressed and you and the sprite receives a message, it's gonna show this particular sprite one. Now, in order for it to show, it has to be hidden in the first place. So I wanna make sure every time I rerun my program, I want it to be hidden and only show when um, the play button is pressed. So now, essentially, our program is done. I have my play button right here. And as you can see, I'm pressing my arrow keys right now and none of these statements or none of these blocks of codes are activating. So essentially wherever my um, player is, it should not move. Now, when I press play, the play button should, hi should hide and I should be able to control my cat now. So now that I press play, you can see that the scripts are outlined in yellow and I'm able to move my cat. So this is uh, the simplest way you can put, make a uh, play button on your uh, program. If you found this useful, please uh, so like and subscribe. Thank you.